Hello everyone, there is no easy way to say this, but recently my sister has passed as a result of cancer. Um, I am going to take these birdhouses that I made to a local shop and use all the proceeds to go straight to uh, cancer research. For those who do build these, um, I do ask that to donate at least one to a shop or whatever and let the proceeds go to cancer research as um, cancer is truly for the birds. Um, thank you. Hello, in this video I'm going to show how to make a couple of bird houses out of this one by six eight foot long with just circular saw and a couple other handheld tools. But use the depth of the board to make a line along the side and this will be cut off to make everything square. And an easy way to do this would be to use a guide that came along with your saw. So before I cut this, to make it a little bit more safe, I'm going to use the point of the screw on the other end to hold the board in place while I'll cut it. And then take your cut off and evenly place it on the other board and push it down on the screws. Now I'm not sponsored by Craig in any way, shape, or form, but I do find their plug cutter absolutely indispensable as you can make use of scrap like this into plugs and dowel pins. Or if you don't have a plug cutter as such, then you can just use a piece of dowel like this and cut pins out of it. Okay, first we're just going to take an end bit here and draw a line from corner to corner. And that will give us a nice center line for this 32 mil. And I'm going to just eye it and place it about right there. And then for some dowel or a perch, I'm going to put it about right there below it. Okay, so an easy way to assemble this is to take the back piece right there and put it on a flat surface. And then the bottom side piece right there. And then just take a clamp, squeeze it on in. So that way the bottom stays flat to the surface, thus like flush with this. And all you have to do is turn it over. You might have to clamp it a little bit more and put the other piece just to help keep it balanced. And for this I'm just using an adjustable square so I know where the other edge is. And use that mark as a reference point when drilling. And once to the center. And then same for the other side. And then from there just apply a bit of glue. And a bit of glue on your pins. And then it's time to do the other bottom side. Okay, so from here, what you want to do is just align this board with the bottom up there. And keep it flush. And with the back side right there. And then clamp it. Put a mark and drill. And for the bottom, I'm going to put one there and one there. And again, the same process. Okay, and again, we're just using a flat piece here of that scrap, putting the narrow piece on the bottom and the wider piece and secure it for a bit. And mark the edge of the wood. However, I should have done that prior, so I won't be doing a balance it. And drill it out. Find a glue. What I'm going to do is just go ahead and put some glue on the edges here. So instead of boring you to death with drill point after drill point, all I did was put one at the base here and one at the side and the other side. And for this piece, of course, you have these two and the same over here. Now, the good thing is about this, if you do under or overshoot it, you always have a bit of scrap to fill in the gap. And at this point, just cut the edges. Then just put in the perch. 
Okay, so before finishing, I'm going to put these eye hooks, or at least drill a place for these eye hooks to go. And the best way that I can think of or figured out is to actually use the side bit of the hammer and put an indentation. That way you get a flat point to drill. So we'll put one about right there and about right there. And lastly, a bit of tongue oil. The inside isn't going to be touched as that's supposed to be uh, chemical free. And this will give it a bit of protection for the weather.